one guy that I read this week, he described the average church member by what happened to him when he fell while he was jogging. He said when he fell, he actually got knocked unconscious, and when he woke back up, there were three different people around him. The first type of person was the person who looked at him and saw the blood and ran away saying, yuck. We have people like that in the church. They just don't want to get involved. They kind of want to just stay as far back as they can and still satisfy their curiosity. Then he said there was a second group, and that was a newspaper reporter who wanted to know who pushed me. He said there are people in the church that are just kind of there to find out as much as they can and gossip about this and gossip about that, but they're not really serving any purpose. And then he said the third one was, like, was a man who actually bent down helped me clean my wounds, helped me get bandaged, and then helped me get back to my feet. And that's a, a third type of church member. That should be the majority, if not the entirety, of what you would find in a church. Because we need to realize, just like God knows about us, that we are not perfect. And if you're looking for a flaw at Living Oaks Baptist Church, you can start up here and start with the flaws up here. There's not a one of us that is without sin, that is perfect, but that part of being the community of Christ is understanding that we have been forgiven, we have been given grace, and we should be vessels of forgiveness and grace 